All right, I'm here with that. Hannah Moogie. And Hannah is uh, one of our most accomplished racers here in California. And I'm gonna ask Hannah a couple quick questions to share with the Philippines racers that are young road racers that are there coming up and kind of her advice on a couple questions. So I'm just gonna ask Hannah a couple questions. Thank you for your time. Of course. Cool, so Hannah, I, I wanted to ask you, uh, for the young racers in the Philippines on the national team and my Keith the Fibri cycling team, uh, how do they stay, how do you stay motivated for training? What do you recommend for an up and coming racer to keep motivated? I think the biggest thing is um, picking some kind of goal, whether it's racing or health related. So for me, my biggest thing is, you know, I want to stay healthy and fit and um, be able to eat whatever I want to. And so that's kind of uh, some of the motivation behind why I race and why I train and, and really enjoy it. And um, I think I find that in, in my, the friendships that I form uh, throughout the cycling community around here. And that's what keeps me running. So health benefits. Yeah, yes. very cool. And then tell me, uh, how do you stay inspired? Like, what inspires you to get out there and battle and compete? I think what really inspires me to race um, is that there's always someone stronger than you. Um, whether it's a guy, whether it's a, a woman racer, um, whether it's, you know, someone that you race for, you know, someone with, um, like in your family who has cancer or other health uh, issues, who you want to make proud. And so I think that, um, for me, that's, that's one of the big things. I think my family really encourages me to do the best I can, and um, I let that energy out at, at work, but also in my athletic endeavors. So you not only race for yourself, you race for others. Yeah, I think so. I, I think that's a big part of it. You know, you want to make your community proud. Here, it's the Mare Bay community, and everybody kind of keeps track of what each other does, and that's really um, motivating because everybody feeds off of your energy as well. Very cool. And then lastly, uh, tell me long term. What's the long term benefits for cycling? Like, you get to see the world, you stay fit, uh, it's a sport for your life. I, this is the, the first sport that I found where, um, you know, you might be tired after a long week of racing or training, but you don't really feel the aches and pains as from, like I played basketball and I uh, ran track and field in, in high school and college. And there's always some kind of a stress related injury or um, over training injury and cycling has been the one thing that's been you know every aspect of it has been beneficial you know the community the uh, strength that you form the fitness that you feel uh, you know a whole body um, the mental toughness that you gain from it but also just pure focus so very cool. So you'd recommend people just keep training, keep racing. So a long-term goal. I mean, uh, back to your original question. I think it's just it. It's a great sport. It's one that anybody of any age can do. Um, all you need is bike, shoes, and a helmet, really, to be able to enjoy the world and to to really see a lot more than you would otherwise. And you have, of course, nice, nice shoes and nice bikes. <laughs> and there go some riders.